Hey guys, I'm back with another top five. This time I'm gonna do more intermediate riffs. And these are my top five most addictive riffs that you should learn. Um, they are gonna go from easier to harder. So one is gonna be a little easier than two, two a little easier than three, and so on. And they're gonna, they're gonna come from different styles. They're gonna involve different techniques. And I'll talk about a little bit of that as we go along. The first riff that is really addictive, when I first started learning this riff, um, really easy to pick up on and really easy to play, but it's really addictive. Crazy Train. Hope you enjoy it. you enjoyed that riff this next one is satellite by dave matthews band it stays around an a major scale on the fifth fret and if you'd like to learn more deep in depth about the theory behind it then stay tuned for my video where i cover this song in totality coming out next week i hope you enjoy this one satellite dave matthews band three that is a lot of fun to play very addictive and it is a completely different style than the other two slide by the goo goo dolls this one uses chords and the previous two have not used chords they've been more about individual picking i hope you enjoyed this one stay tuned for the tap <laughs> to number four. Number four is a country song by Colin Ray and it's called Love Me. So this one is going to be pretty difficult if you are not used to doing a little bit of finger picking and um, changing chords fairly smoothly. So follow along. This one's a lot of fun to play. Once you get it, you won't stop playing it, but it may take a little while to get there. Love Me by Colin Ray. number five is probably what I think is the hardest to play on this list. It is Six Sad Little World by Incubus. And like I said, going through a lot of different bands. We've had country on this list. We've had pop on this list. We've had hard rock. So now we're at Incubus. Six Sad Little World has a really fun riff to play. It uses pretty much every technique that we've used in the past four riffs all together in one. Work on it. Once you get it, you won't stop playing it. Six Sad Little World. <music> Guys, I hope you enjoyed those riffs. For more in-depth lessons on each of these riffs, stay tuned in the next few weeks. I'll be putting out a lesson for each of these five videos. I already have one out there for slide, so just check my channel for slide if you're interested in learning more about that video. Um, next time, I'm gonna do even more riffs 
that are intermediate and really, really fun to play. If you have a riff that you think that I should include on this list, then leave it in the comments below. As always, click subscribe and be checking back on my channel for all of my guitar lessons that I have coming out. And let me know if there's anything that you would like to learn, you would like for me to teach you. Um, each week I give a free lesson on Wednesdays. It's a live stream. Tomorrow, this is the uh, second week in June, tomorrow I am doing uh, Crazy Train. So I'll go over the riff from Crazy Train and I'll teach you some easy ways to simplify it so that if you're not quite ready for the full song yet, you can work your way up to it. I hope to see you tomorrow for my lesson. Have a good day, guys. See you next time.